welcome to Mariampoli, the region where the most frugal and well-spoken Lithuanians live. You'll find Mariampoli, the municipality in the southwest of Lithuania. And those who travel to Poland often know it very well, since the main highway, Via Baltica, passes through it. Mariampol is two hours away from the capital, Vilnius, and less than an hour from the second largest city, Kaunas. The population of Mariampol municipality reaches around 54,000 in 2022. I will not be able to speak about Mariampol without first telling about Svalkia. It is one of the smallest of Lithuania's historical regions, and it is located on the southern side of Namunas River, stretching out even to a city in Poland with a very relatable name, Suwalki. Suwalkia, sometimes called Suduva, is defined by its people, who are known to be frugal and industrious. This myth most likely came about from the 19th century, when the region was known to be the richest and the people most educated. Suvalkia was also the place where the modern Lithuanian language had formed. That's why today it is thought by many that Suvalkia dialect is the most grammatically correct. It was the home of some of the most notable figures in Lithuanian history. The patriarch of the nation, Jonas Basanavičius, the author of Lithuanian national anthem, Vincas Kudirka, linguist Jonas Jablonskis, and many other figures from Lithuanian national revival, from the beginning of 20th century. Most of them finished Mariampolė Rygiški Jonas Gymnasium, a secondary school established in the 19th century. Today it even has a museum dedicated to all the famous people who attended it. So, back to Mariampolė today. The city greets everyone with its beautiful historical railway station, which the locals claim to be the prettiest in Lithuania. It was built in early 20th century in early modernist style and it stands out from other buildings of that era in Lithuania. The railway station truly makes an impressive first look of the city. The city itself still has a lot of historical old town left too. You can find old buildings all around the city center. Probably the most prominent old town building is the synagogue built at the turn of 20th century. It had seen good and bad times. During the Soviet rule, like most prayer homes in Lithuania, it was used as a warehouse, but today it is a local art gallery. Another famous old town building is the Basilica of St. Michael the Archangel, built in early 19th century in neo-baroque style. The church is situated at the heart of the city, the place where it all began. Mariampole was founded by Countess Franciszka Butleriene back in the 18th century, as she invited Marian monks to build a monastery in this area. They have built a wooden church and a monastery, which led the way for a city to grow around it. The wooden church was replaced with this beautiful basilica in the 19th century, but the monastery buildings remain the same since the 18th century. There also is a newer addition to the complex, the modernist-style printing house, which also had one of the largest libraries in Lithuania in the first half of the 20th century. Today, the church and the monastery complex is an important Catholic pilgrim destination, as the blessed Jurgis Matulaitis is buried here. With all that architecture and history, Mariampolis Center is a nice place for a walk, with plenty of cafes, restaurants and secret art corners. One of such hidden nooks is the cat yard. It is thought that the city founder, Countess Franciszka Butleriene, loved cats. So to honor her, this yard was dedicated to her and the cats. The legend says that if you pet the three cats and make a wish, it will be granted. But only the wish is not related to money, as the cats are as frugal as the people of Suvalkia. Also, inside the cat yard, you can see some of Mariampole's famous street art. Mariampole has an incredible collection of street art located all around the city, creating a beautiful balance to all the historical buildings all over the city. Every year, an international contemporary art festival is held in Mariampole, organized by Lithuanian-American artist Ray Bartkus, who created most famous artwork in Mariampole, The Floating World. The upside-down mural reveals its true image in the reflection on the water. The festival, that will happen for the ninth time in August in 2022, has already filled the city in previous years with a lot of amazing and some even controversial artworks all over the city. 
That gives even more reasons to have a good walk around town. Other places great for a walk are the city parks. One of them is right in the city center called Poetry Park. It is for those who likes to be surrounded by water. It is located at the confluence of two rivers and has plenty of fountains. Refreshing on a hot day, this park is one of the favorite places of the locals. The oldest city park of Vitotas the Great went in a totally different direction and to interest people, the government created an app for augmented reality images that show how the park looked like 150 years ago. Meanwhile, outside the city there are some more natural places to visit. We go to Juventus Biosphere Reserve, where we can see some nature. Protected by UNESCO, it is one of the most important places in Lithuania for migrating birds. You can hear more about it in one of my older videos that is about Alitus district, because the largest part of the reserve belongs to that district. In Mariampoli municipality, there are two cognitive trails worthy of a visit to the reserve. One of them is Amalva Swamp Cognitive Trail, which can be funny to look at at first. It is probably the shortest cognitive trail in Lithuania, with just 121 meters length. I guess Suvalkiechi were being frugal again. But it is just brilliant. This path gives an opportunity to explore the nature without interfering too much. The swamp is home to a hundred types of birds, numerous other animals and plants. The small tower in the beginning provides a wide view of one of the largest swamps in Suvalkia region. If, however, you prefer a bit longer walk, then go to Bukta Forest Cognitive Trail. Bukta Forest is one of the most biodiverse forests in Lithuania. It is home to hundreds of types of plants and, of course, like in all Shuventas Reserve, lots of rare birds. The cognitive trail is also not so long, with the longest version taking just 2 kilometers. The place is very popular between the locals and it is a great place for families to spend time in nature. Overall, I think that Mariampol is a great place for a day trip and it should not be ignored when passing by through the Via Baltica Highway. Its history filled old town mixed with the modern street art creates a vibrant city atmosphere, which anyone traveling nearby should stop to enjoy. See you in Mariampole. Thanks for watching.